Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Mercus and today we are playing more 7 days to die. So let's get started. Okay, so in the last episode we fought the day 105 horn which went kind of poorly. As usual. But yeah, so for this week now we are not going to go to... Oh, what? Another dog. And a dog correspond as well, so let's just go. Why are you just... Oh, what? You're stuck inside his bikes? Oh, you're dead. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so in terms of the base itself, it held together as usual, but like most of all the spikes are gone. All the electric fences are gone. There's tons of damage. Majority of the blade traps are gone. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a fail. Another one there? It's kind of a bit of a failure, but oh well. So the plan for this week here is I consider actually two things. Or three things actually. First of all was to like continue working on the wasteland looting project. That's all that's actually quite a lot of fun actually. I'm not quite sure why it's just so much fun to destroy. Or like mine up crush stone. Or destroy stone. My original plan was to go down south again, actually continue working and looting this place here. But then I actually realized, or what I should of course be doing, which is why I will be doing. And that is just work a little bit on the main base as well as the pad itself. So right now, Alpha 20 is presumably speaking just around the corner. So for what they've sort of said is earliest is Halloween, but it will be the experimental will be out uh, by like the end of twenty twenty one basically. Although they're not entirely they don't, they don't have like a fixed date or anything, but they're like closing it basically. So what that actually means, of course, that means we have to sort of wrap up this series at one point. I will be playing all the way until Alpha 20 like drops, so like the day before we get the proper release date. So one day I will be playing on this map, and then the next day Alpha 20 will be dropped and I will be playing Alpha 20. My plan then is of course to finish with a world tour, and we just had a world tour, so I want to do a bunch of progress in between the last one and next one. So that means not looting cities, but that means building or working on the main base. So for now, we need to basically spend an entire week now on on that. Let's actually take this one. Uh, so step one is going to be finish the pad. So this is the pad we got here. This is like massive concrete slab. I want to take it all the way down to here. Take it over here. Go a little bit over here, some other like this and probably out here and all the way up here and then extend this road basically like to go underneath these two garages and then fill in all this with the concrete. That should be fine. Uh, the reason I'm going to work on the pad itself is going to be because we currently made a bunch of sand from or mine a bunch of sand from the wasteland and I would like to use that. And like we can of course make concrete mix, but the thing is concrete mix is sort of uh, like it just clogs up chests. Because you get like for every stack of sand you get six stacks of concrete mix. Which of course means that that's like uh, that's kind of a bad thing to like make if you want to like preserve uh, like space essentially. So therefore of course the best thing is just to actually use it all up. Uh, I will be making probably a couple of chests worth of it, but let's also try to use it a bunch. But yeah. So we're going to work on the pan itself, we're also going to work on the main base, and we're also going to work on this farming place here as well. I want to really try to get at least a tile of super corn. Uh, of course the plan with this farm is to get one of these 9x9 tiles for every single corn like crop in the game. So pumpkin, corn, pump, uh, golden rod, blueberry, coffee, potatoes. Uh, aloe vera, yucca, hops, uh, chrysanthemum, as super corn as well as mushroom. So that is my plan. And uh, 
yeah, I'm going to press the try to, to like achieve that. I want multiple ones for Super Corno because again, I realized actually that each of like a nine by nine tile of Super Corn can, if converted first to glue then into paper, yield one like a box of one hundred shotgun shells. So per every two hours per day, so that's seven. That's seven hundred shotgun shells per like nine by nine. Which is fairly decent. That will, of course, mean we need a couple of them to actually supply the horde, but no base, but yeah, it's kind of fun. So that's the goal now. So, yeah. I will be doing most of this off camera. So, the pad itself, I'm going to do everything off camera. I will be recording it though for the grinding episodes, but I will be doing it off camera. I'm just going to do like periodic status updates, similar to the way I did it with the wasteland here. So, yeah. That also actually means we can progress a little bit, because for me right now, with my current schedule stuff, it's easier for me to do off-camera work as opposed to record. So, yeah, I'm just going to try to like this, because we need to sort of... We need to basically like, uh, speed up a little bit there. Now, do not one more thing, I am currently in a massive binge of pre-recording episodes. So right now I am actually so as as recording this I haven't yet actually released the not the not the horde yesterday but not even the last like the horde before that even the last episode right now as of, as of now is uh, like actually when we left off this yeah so at the moment the last episode I actually released was episode ninety five as well as pad construction three. And the reason for that is just because I want to have a little bit of a backlog before I can start because right now we are doing some Essentially like, you know, this project is going to take like essentially a full week with maybe two or three episodes only, so and Of course that project there took an entire week, we just never have single episodes yet Anyways though, I'm going to start uh, Working with on the pad now and I will be seeing you in a moment or a couple hours Depending on what happens. Okay, so a quick progress update now. I have uh, been doing quite a lot of stuff here. Everything you can see here is now been dug out. I also started upgrading the, like, all this concrete there as well. And I also managed to collapse a pretty decent chunk of the road. It used to be all the way out to here. So, yeah. Also, we worked a bunch on the main base as well. I actually finished more or less the bolt true. But doing all that, I actually realized I ran out of concrete mix, so we actually need to go and grab some sand. Another thing I also realized was I forgot to record an outro and a progress update on uh, this place now. Let's go and do that. So I end up working a little bit more on this place here, basically. So basically like digging around this POI here. So uh, all of this has not been dug out and stuff. Yeah, just basically like worked on... Uh, yeah, just all of this, basically. I dug out quite a lot of stuff, like uh, one deep as well. So... It's taking its time, but it's getting there for sure. A bunch of stuff here as well. And basically this like whole section here is now complete. Nice. Just the resources, we actually got a fair decent amount of them on the same. So bunch of rotting flesh. Uh, quite a lot of sand actually. In a little bit more rotting flesh. Eh. Don't hit my knife. Oh, what? Uh, these are honey as well, actually, from all the trees. We got uh, two and a Big chests of stone, pretty decent amount of wood, and a whole bunch of other like random stuff. 
Uh, I think like 50 or 60 test run extra, so yeah. Nice. So, the vault room is now almost finished. Um, still a couple of things missing, but yeah. So, this is sort of like the new entrance down. To the right here is going to be down to the bunker itself. The place where, like, the last resort option if the main base falls. And to the left is the bunker room itself. So, as we get into here, we get into this, like, three octagonal rooms. They're all five blocks tall. The doors are being five blocks wide. And these are the active world rooms themselves, they're a little bit smaller, so... Actually, no, they're the same size, never mind. Well, actually, no, because uh, the... The walls here are five uh, ramp blocks wide, the walls is only three, so yeah. So each of them has 27 uh, vault saves. And there are 27 of them in all three of them. And I have spawned them in because they're not really going to use, be used for anything at all. They're, they're not actually going to be used. I'm going to have another vault safe like here, which is going to be actually used. Like sort of valuables, basically. Uh, or two, we'll see. This is just literally like for fun. It's like, it's uh, Lib, I'm sure about to do the center thing here. I definitely do want to add some uh, SMG auto turrets, I think, here. Plus some re like bars and stuff. But yeah, I have to figure out exactly what I want to do with that. I'm also thinking about adding like uh, basically bars along here with a Volter in the middle. So we're gonna have to take a look at that as well, but yeah. That will be later. Let's go and make some concrete then. I also actually made a whole bunch of rebar blocks as well, or frames, because I realized they were also out of. So I can make a whole bunch more. Okay, so at the moment the pad is eh, progressing quite fast, I would say. I managed to basically fill in all of this as well as all of this now. This is where all the road all the road used to be before. I have dug out a quite a little area and also filled in all of this with rebar frames now. So that's nice. So I'm actually working a little bit on this sort of uh, next progress. I really want to actually get this corner here done now. Sort of wrap things up a little bit. And I wasn't entirely sure exactly how I wanted to do that, but I think I finally figured it out, in fact. So I want to take this road here, wrap it around here, hit the actual the farm area here, and then basically go this way. And then just start continue this way. Now, I'm a little unsure about exactly if I should take it up to here or if I should go essentially like one hour. Because the problem we got over here is the fact that uh, the ground slopes so much that like here it's nearly flush, right? Well, that actually shouldn't be a problem because we're going to have to fill this in regardless, true. Okay, uh, because this is like, yeah, let's actually take it up to here then. Where we get a little bit more slope. That which means we're gonna have to fill in, fill in a little bit of stuff, or that's probably fine. So uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. Now I might just go and measure though how wide this road actually is. Let's actually go out and make money as well. Okay, so if you turn it off, you can't actually go exit. Climb up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen blocks wide. Okay. So then basically, let's go and add another number down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we want to free blocks of the actual like distance here or spacing. One, two, three. And then back to the road. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14. So in other words, if this is then the actual row, I'm just gonna make like double check that. That basically means that we will have these ramp frames here then. Another thing as well, by the way, is the fact that I noticed a couple issues with the roads here. And that's the fact that right now we got like the ramps are three blocks at long. That was actually done for a bunch of like trial and error essentially, trying to get this to like sort of be correct. The alternative of course is to put basically one of these there, but as you can see it sort of goes a bit too steep. The problem though is because I'm not going to be placing down the concrete, like the asphalt myself, it's actually quite a bit steeper. So going over here, this is actually the asphalt I placed on myself. As you can see, that's actually quite steep. Now, I the 4x4 I can do that, I believe was limited by candidate without problems, so, but I'm actually considering maybe changing the slope here. Actually, I should probably have done that actually before placing all of them. Yeah, whoops. I guess that's just a bit too late now. Well, I do believe it's still fine though, because like, uh, the main bike can easily like traverse, it's just not as fast. So, yeah. so I think it's fine. At one point I may consider like going over the entire road there and just basically like putting down frames, but uh, yeah. Uh, this is basically because the actual like terrain in the cities here are actually, I think actually the, yeah, the roads are sort of res recessed a little bit. So they're not actually a block thick essentially. So if you sort of place a block here, right? It actually sort of, it updates the blocks and it sort of like pops up a little bit. But yeah, so this is not actually the correct one. We also got the three blocks here as well. Right, and then basically this block right here is where the pad is supposed to start. So we're not actually that far away from uh, finishing this entire corner, so I think I'm gonna work a little bit on that now. And uh, then maybe we'll go, hey look. Let me make sure we go and work a little bit on the farms. Because I want to watch work. Nice. Okay then, so the final status update right now. I think doing a quite a bit more work now. As you can see, so a little bunch more stuff in like the corners and stuff. Um, we now actually also decided on the sort of the edge as well. So right now we only have this like little centerpiece here to take down, just a little bit more dirt, have to collapse this road. And yeah. So also upon this road here as well, so started working on essentially like filling this in. And it's like I'm actually expanding the farm, which is going to be the first one we're going to do the next episode. And yeah. I also decided to do a little bit of a sort of a corner thing here, because I actually realized that if I were to, were to like, you know, take this further down, I would need to essentially fill in all of this. And I just felt that it didn't make sense. Plus also that of course would mean that the actual, the sort of the edge would like start here, which is like 10 to 15 blocks between the main or the main base, which I just don't feel is enough. So we're gonna take it down, yeah, maybe down there or something. And then cross. Uh, the train here of course is kind of bad because it is quite sort of slanted. Although it's only this little like sort of valley here, of course, on the other side, we are back up to that, so. Uh, it is possible I will just basically ditch the actual sort of ramp up here. That might happen. Uh, we'll see, like the ramp. Then again, we are quite close to Alpha 20 uh, hitting. It's just like 10 to 15 days, perhaps. So I probably won't be able to do anything here, so I'm not going to worry about it. But uh, yeah. I definitely want to finish the pad up. Anyways, that's going to be for this episode. Hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. And so, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and goodbye.